Hi everyone, I have very exciting news this morning. We have opened up my new online workshop, Making Your Mark. It's a really in-depth exploration of mark making with pastels. Really getting into the nitty gritty of it so that you can find your own unique style. I think every one of us really wants that in our paintings. So check it out, it's got five uh, uh, separate videos and five assignments. A little bit different format than what we were doing with the paint and watch lessons. So you watch the video, do the assignment, watch the video, do the assignment. Upload your assignments as you go. Um, the other folks that are taking the workshop are going to be uploading their work so you'll be able to compare and comment just like you do now with the other lessons but this will be more of a little bit more of a closed group and we'll be interacting quite a bit more. Um, at the end of the session, there will be a live critique session. So that's really, really going to be super exciting. There are handouts that you'll get to you know, kind of guide you along, which are pretty in-depth. So the, um, the handout uh, is, I think, 17 pages long. So. It's a pretty in-depth um, workshop, so I hope you'll check it out and consider um, joining in. So that will be super fun. Now, one other thing that I wanted to talk to everyone about is the, um, the paint and watch lessons. So I, I've had a few questions about them, and I have had a lot of people say, well, I just can't, I just can't follow along. I'm not as fast a painter as you, um, or, I don't have exactly the right colors. You guys, the, the paint and watch lessons are not really meant for you to be trying to match me um, stroke by stroke, um, stick by stick. Um, yeah, that's one way of going about it, but that's not like my primary intent in having you do um, basically copying one of my pieces. Really, there's a couple of things that um, that I really am after you getting from those lessons. Number one is watch the way that I'm building a piece from start to finish. That includes the thumbnail sketch, that planning stage, the drawing stage, blocking in, adding on, um, and finishing. So just going through all the steps to be able to consistently build your own painting. So that's, you know, really primary to um, watching. So that structure. Also watch the manner in which I'm putting down the strokes. That's something to um, pay attention to. Um, you know, what's the speed of my marks? How large are the, how large a stroke is it? What direction am I moving? I move my hand in all directions when I'm painting. So that's not to say that that's how you're going to end up working, but it's maybe different from the way you're doing it. The way we get better is by switching up what we're doing and doing something a little differently that kind of, you know, nudges us ahead. That saying, if you always do what you always do, you're all, you'll always get what you always get. So I'm just sort of um, goading you into, you know, doing it a little bit differently than the way you're doing it right now. So there's that. So look for, look for the way I'm putting the marks down, the variety of marks that I'm putting down. And it goes back to the mark making workshop that we have coming up. So um, also in, in terms of um, the colors, everyone says, how do you choose the colors that you choose? Well, you know, some of it is definitely um, um, experience and knowledge along the way. Some of it is intuitive. Some of it's my own personal aesthetic. So all of those factors come into my color choices. But the thing that I want you to see more than you um, having every stick that I have, I want you to be watching the way that I'm orchestrating the three aspects of color hue, value, and saturation. And I'm orchestrating those within the piece to draw my viewer's eye to the focal point. Um, so I don't expect you to have every color that I have. And it maybe isn't even a good thing. Um, 
contrary to hopeful belief that having all of the colors or the same colors is my secret. I'm really sorry. I don't have any secrets. I'm giving them all to you. Um, okay, now the last thing that is really important to me, I think, um, and that I want you to get from doing the paint and watch and, and maybe following along, maybe, maybe watching and then doing, you know, both are very um, legitimate um, processes, is um, the other thing I want is for you to speed up a little bit. Speeding up gets us into a flow, okay? We're thinking less and painting more. <laughs> and yes, we want to consider things. We want to learn how to paint. We want, we want to learn things, and of course we can. But in the end, I think the art comes with the doing, comes with the process. This is where the real juice is. That's where the beauty is in the process, not really in the end product. So um, that's my little admonition for today and my little update. So I hope you'll um, check out the, the new workshop format. This is going to be, we're going to be continuing on this kind of format because I think it's you know really dynamic and exciting. The, the next workshop will be on trees and we're going to go really deep, deep, deep into how to paint trees. So that's going to be really, really fun. Everybody wants to be able to do that. So I'm always exploring new ways of uh, painting trees. Okay, so that's it. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.